All new this morning, the first feasibility study for bringing a high-speed Hyperloop train to the U.S. is complete, and it shows some potential for bringing the technology to Colorado. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live this morning. Nicole, Colorado has already been making plans for this for a while. Yeah, uh, Molly, we've told you that this site out here near DIA has already been named as uh, the site of a possible future station for a Hyperloop train. Now, while the results of Colorado's feasibility study are still pending, this morning the results of the Missouri feasibility study are in, and they may hold some promise for Colorado. Really, just the idea that this is viable is a good sign for any state hoping to get this. So we've shown you the proposed route for the Hyperloop in Colorado. Colorado. The Rocky Mountain Hyperloop, as it's called, would go from Pueblo to Cheyenne, traveling at speeds of over 650 miles an hour with stops along the way there. But while Colorado is still being studied, the first study out this morning says that Missouri is a top contender because of I-70. I-70 is the key here. That route would connect Kansas City to St. Louis, going parallel to I-70, which is important because that means there's already a right of way in place. So. My idea here, maybe we just extend that along I-70 West all the way out to Denver and maybe uh, we would be able to connect along the Hyperloop there. Or we still have the proposed Rocky Mountain Hyperloop being studied as well, which is uh, pretty much a, a shot along I-25 here. So the big barrier though, still according to this study, is the cost. However, it did find that the infrastructure for the Hyperloop could be built at a cost less than what some current high-speed rails are being built at. We'll see and we'll keep you posted. We're live near DIA, Nicole Brady, Denver 7.